Hello my friends, my name is DanCraft73 and welcome back to another episode of our 1.14.4 Vanilla Let's Play series. I hope you're having a good day because man, any day that I get to hang out in my Vanilla Minecraft world and play some Vanilla Minecraft is a good day as far as I'm concerned. You know, I don't know... I don't know why. It just seems like every sometimes <laughs> I don't know. It's like when I log into the world, things look different every once in a while. Okay, we have work to do today. I know that's hard to believe because we literally say that at the beginning of every single episode, but it's always true. Hello, Alex and Janky. How are you guys doing? Chilling in there, taking care of business. Oh, I need some of that. So today, I'm gonna do it. Um now that I have some slime and it's not such a big deal, um my my experience situation around here. Let's go down here really quick. Um, I just put, I just went, did a little bit of mining uh, just to get some iron. So I got a little bit. Um, I had some. I just went through all my chests and then I found maybe, I don't know, a half a stack or something down in the mines. But, you know, this thing is, uh, it's, it's moving along, but just not very fast. Oh, we're going to need those, I think. Yeah, we're for sure going to need that. We're also going to need some cobble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that might be it. Anyway, um, so this thing is just not, uh, you know, we had this great idea that we're going to like passively generate tons and tons of experience. The problem is I'm just not here enough, you know, I'm off doing stuff or maybe I'm down in the mines and I think my my little farm over here gets unloaded and that causes like a downstream impact, I believe to the amount of bamboo that I'm harvesting. And you guys called it. Uh, you guys said, hey, um, I think the cactus farm might be okay. Might be okay. But um, that bamboo farm is not going to get the job done. Now, we could do a couple things, like expand massively the size of our bamboo farm and maybe get enough bamboo. Um, we could use some other sort of... Uh, burnable item like uh, charcoal or in my case I put a stack of coal in each one of those furnaces and we're going to burn through some backlog I hope uh, but anyway I mean, we could do all those things for sure but I think what we need to do and I, I've sort of been I wanting to try it I'm not a huge fan of these type of things um, but you know we also need to have experience to take care of the business that we need to get taken care of around here. That is for sure. Um, so I think we're going to make a zero tick uh, bamboo farm today and see if we can't just jack up the amount of fuel that we have available to smelt our cactus. And maybe we'll keep our cactus farm the same. For now, at least. I mean, we can make a zero tick uh, cactus farm, I guess, but we're going to try to make one of these zero tick things. And I think um, for no other, uh, no other reason than A... Um, it'll be fun. B, uh, you know, I, I want to see if we can actually pull it off, you know? And then C, the added benefit of that will be tons and tons of experience. So, um, actually I was going outside for a reason and now I got myself running my mouth and I came back down in here and I got distracted. Oh, it's nighttime. Can I sleep? Yep. So I need to go and put all this, uh, iron that I have into... The blast furnace arrays back here. Oh, hello. Hello, guy. <laughs> Tomorrow. Is today, today Wednesday? No. Today, no, today is. I think, isn't today Halloween? For you guys? I think so. You're dead. Okay. Um, I believe it is, actually. I'm trying to think. I don't know what today is. What is my... Yeah, yeah. So tomorrow, while you guys are watching this, it will be Halloween. All right, so we're going to do that. First of all, we're going to put that and half of that in there. And then we'll put that and that. And I don't know. We'll give it, we'll jack up a little bit more coal. All right, so we have some iron there. And we need some iron here. Um, I don't really need that much iron, really. I just need enough to make a couple. I have six. I need to make um, like five more. Of, of those things. I also need to see if I can't repair that guy. I might need to get some wood. Let me see if we have what we need, and we'll at least get all the materials together for this thing, and then we'll kind of go from there. It's actually a pretty simple design, um, which I think is maybe one of the reasons that people get irritated, because it feels like it's kind of, I don't know, uh, I don't know, like, it, like cheaty a little bit. I don't know if that's the way it is or not. 
You know, some people are, they told me um, when we were talking about these, and I was talking about it in my Patreon, or in my Discord channel, um, which, by the way, if you want to join, there's a link in the description box down below. We'd love to have you. We talk about all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, okay, piston. That's what we want to make. And we want to make however many. We need 11 total, so let's get those done. Okay. And then six of these, or four of these, one, two, three, four, whoops, one, two, three, four, need to be sticky, okay? So we're gathering all the resources together. So there's those, uh, we have more than we need there, which is, I didn't do the math right, it's nine total that I needed. So we actually need five. Let's just get these out of the way. Um, we also need a one hopper. Hello? Okay. So let's make that. Let's knock that out real quick. Okay. Uh, we need a block of redstone. Just one. Okay. We need a slime ball or slime block like that. So we get that. Uh, we need a little bit of redstone, that's for sure. We need a hopper. We need a lever. Do I have a stick? No, but I can make one. We need a lever. Okay. And then I feel like we need... Oh, we need a thing. Um, how are we going to handle this? Actually, I think what I'm going to do, since we know that we're going to... Tear, this this thing's going to get torn down. Um, I need to find my Silk Touch pick, though, because I'd like to save that glass if possible. I don't know. I've got stuff, like, spread out all over the place. Um, there it is. Yeah, Silk Touch, my bigger digger pick. All right, that can go. And actually, let's while we're here, let's just throw some junk in here. Trust me, we're going to come back in and get all this cleaned up. I know it's a mess. It's just kind of the way it is. That we need to keep. We don't need that, that, that. Okay. Okay. So if I go and get an observer, what else do I need? I need like a couple dirt blocks, I guess. Do I have a couple dirt blocks? Uh, no, it's granite. Okay. Let's see if we actually have some dirt laying around here in one of these chests. I'm sure we do. We need two dirt blocks. One, two. Okay. Hopper lever. And the only thing else we need is an observer. Which, if I had a piece of nether quartz, I could probably just make instead of tearing that down. So then you at least be able to see all the pieces parts that you need to have in your inventory. Do we have an observer somewhere? Hmm. You know what we could do? How about, um... Is it here? Uh, where's... It, uh... Let's um let's go over here real quick. I'm so happy that we made those drop tunnels last episode. Those are nice, I think. I'm down. 100% down with that. <laughs> Alright, and now I just need to look here in the nether box. Uh, this guy. How many quartz? You know, we could sneak off to the nether real quick and just grab some. And that way we, we wouldn't, on camera, have to tear down the farm. And I'll go off camera and tear that thing down. And then that's we'll build our zero tick version in that so let's let's plan on doing that so let's go let's actually go together why not it'll be fun sneak into the nether real quick we've been there for a while man we have to get back in there and start doing some work man we have so many projects i feel like i could release an episode of vanilla minecraft every single day and still not have enough time to keep all of our projects under control i mean that's probably not true um but you know Whatever, it is what it is. Oh, hello. Hello, guys. Just kind of chilling around here. Oh, okay. Oh, do not. Do not knock me off, guy. Okay. Yeah, there's some quartz right there. We use our silk touch. Or use our, um... This guy. Fortune pick. Be able to snatch it up quick. Any more close? Yeah. By the way, this is also a good way to repair our pick. Hello, guy. That mending enchant. Oh my goodness, this is a ton. 
Let's just grab this all, and then we'll have plenty to go build the stuff that we need. I can't really... I think... I mean, I hope we're not over here just doing dumb things. I'm pretty sure we need uh, quartz for our observer. Here, let's take that, like so, real quick. Um... And I'll grab this. Okay. All right. Let's head back. Be quiet, phone. All right. Anyway, so, oh, by the way, this looks awesome. If you haven't seen it, um, that's great. I love this. I saw a different design to make some chains, though. We're going to try that at some point in the near future. Like, um, more square than oval. Yeah. Whatever we need to, we need to get in here and do more work. It's just one of those things, you know how it is. <laughs> if you have your own vanilla world, you have like nine hundred different projects that you're trying to work on all the time, and you never know what to to tackle first. Okay, so but today we're gonna tackle the zero tick farm. So now we just need to make one observer, and then I'll have all the pieces, parts, and then I think what I'm gonna do is go off camera and build this thing mainly because, well, there's two reasons. One is I'm not exactly 100% sure how to build it. And two, um, I'm gonna have to be watching a tutorial. So let's see, observer, and that is what? Oh, just a little bit of cobble is all we need. Okay. Okay, bang. There's an observer. Okay, so in our inventory now, get rid of this. Right there. So this row is all the pieces that we need, other than, of course, a little bit of bamboo. We need a little bit of bamboo, um, so we'll get that in just a second. I've got some. We can find it. Um, probably kicking around somewhere. Actually, outside we can harvest it. So other than a little bit of bamboo that we need one piece or maybe two pieces or something, um, that's all the pieces parts we need to make this zero tick delay. And technically, it's like that. Two pieces of redstone dust is all we need. So two pieces of dirt, an observer, a redstone block, four sticky pistons, five regular pistons, a hopper, two redstone dust, a slime block, and a lever. So those are the things we need. Um, oh, and we might need, uh, I'm guessing, probably, here, do we have sticks? Two redstone torches as well. So let's go ahead. And then some building blocks. Didn't I have sticks somewhere? Yep. Let's actually also make two redstone torches. Okay. So there are the stuff that we need. Um, we're also going to need, we're, we're not doing, we don't need water um, because we're not doing a sugar cane farm. We're doing bamboo. So this is the stuff we need right here. So all of that. So if you're following along at home, if you gather those all together, whatever. Um, and I'm using Il Mango's design. Um, it's one of the best, I guess. I don't know. It's super good. Um, and I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box down below. Um, it's actually a really good video because he talks about some of the theory behind some of these things as well. Anyway, let me get working on tearing the old farm down and building this new thing, and I'll bring you back on the other side. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I, I told, I, I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong, and I'm going to make it right, so I just wanted to bring you guys back. Uh, I do need some more fish. I, you know what? I, I keep finding stuff to do every time I start recording, and I'm thinking, I mean, people are going to think that this is like some kind of con game or something. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of that. Let's go back outside. I just was outside. Um, it was nighttime, and I had to fight some bad guys, and it was sketchy. My health is not doing great. But it's all good now. Just a, a skeleton. He was right here. Um, so let's go back in here. I need to fire up the smoker real quick, the smokehouse, and get this going. Here, you can put that in there. Get this going. And we can take that, right? Yeah, all good. I love my smokehouse. It's amazing. Hmm. Okay, so I was wrong on the total amount of resources that we needed. So I just wanted to make sure that I brought you guys back before I started actually building this thing. It's not done yet. I have cleared everything out. 
Uh, I was getting ready to start building it, and then I noticed that there was a difference in resource counts. So let me just um, get exactly what we need. It's actually, I think, a little bit less. I think it's a little bit less. Um, so I put all my other resources in here. So I need... Okay, let's move these things out of the way so we can put them all. So one, two, three. Three sticky pistons. Two pieces of redstone still. Maybe five regular pistons. Two dirt blocks. Um, we don't need an observer. We need two of these. Um, we still need a hopper, of course. And some bamboo and a lever. So there's that. And then building blocks. And we're going to use... Um, why did I put them away? We're going to use stone bricks just because I have a ton of them. There's stone bricks for our building blocks. And I also need some bamboo. Obviously, I got a bunch of bamboo when I chopped this all down. So this is all cleared out. I'm going to try to build this thing sitting in here somewhere, I think. The only thing that I'm a little worried about is I know it's super loud, but whatever. So we're going to build it in right there. Um, it needs to be... I don't know, probably a couple blocks off the ground. So let's grab our building blocks, and we can at least start, I guess. So what's the deal? So let's build it here on this strip of this stuff. So we'll go up like two. Here, let's go. Like so. We'll go like this, and then we're going to have dirt here and here. And then we need to go like so. Do I have my pick? Yeah. Okay, and then we'll break break that and go like that. Put that sticky piston face in there. And then we need to go like this and this and that, like so. And this has to have a gap in it. Okay, and then the sticky piston there. Okay, so that's where the farm is going to sit. Um, at least that's my plan. So that is the stuff that's going to shift back and forth. I don't know if we even need these blocks here. I don't think we do. Um, but I'm going to go off camera in just a second. So the farm's going to sit right here. And I think that's probably going to be big enough. And hopefully this will allow us to run these materials into like a chest or something that we can still use to like move our stuff up and down. Yeah, that little bit of stuff that we put in there worked out like a dream. So we'll build this guy right here. And that'll give us some room for some other stuff if we need to. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to get this thing built. And I'll bring you back on the other side when it's done. And we'll see if we can get it to work. I hope so. I mean, I think so, right? It should work. <laughs> I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends. We are back. Okay, so theoretically, this is supposed to be working. Uh, but it doesn't. So I... I've been trying a couple things. So I was reading online. One, so originally I had these two pistons on the bottom taken out because I don't need them. Um, according to the tutorial, if the top two are firing, you don't need the bottom two. Um, and then I read in a comment that that if your farm's not working, like it breaks the bamboo and it doesn't make any, it doesn't collect it or whatever, um, put these pistons back and maybe that fixes it. So that didn't solve the problem for me. The other thing that someone just suggested, and I've just turned my sound down. <laughs> oh, not there. Um, all the way. I turned my master volume off because I'm going to turn this thing on, and it's loud. You can see that it's, it's shifting back and forth. So somebody else suggested that I plant bamboo while it's actually running. Okay, so that doesn't seem to be working either, um, which is, I don't know, whatever. So the other thing that was suggested was that you tear the farm down and turn it 90 degrees. So instead of facing this way, face it this way. Like this is where the farm would be. So I'm going to try, and I'm, I'm not sure how successful we're going to be. I need to go find my silk touch pick. Well, let's break everything down. We're going to try to do this together. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um, I might have to stop the camera and <laughs> figure out where I've, where I've gone wrong, but we're going to give it a try and see. So we're going to turn this thing 90 degrees. I'm going to break everything except for that glowstone because I want to use that. Um, one of the other things that someone said was, hey, this thing might not work if uh, you're not at the right light level. So that's why I had those glowstone blocks there. I mean, we should have been at the right le light level. Everything should have been right. I'm pretty sure. So we're going to try to build this thing again. Let me go find my silk touch pick. That way we can bust that up real quick. Is it over here? Yeah. 
And I, I mean, it's a really simple design. I'm pretty sure that I, I can build it from memory, but we'll see. Okay. Um, someone did say two blocks off the ground for sure. So let's come over here, maybe. And we'll go like that. I feel like it's kind of dark around here. Let's put some torches down just so you guys can see. And then we're going to do two dirt blocks on top, like so. Like that. And then we'll do a block like this. And we'll get rid of this guy. And this is where Sticky Piston goes. Like so. All right. And then we're going to do one, two, three. And we're going to break these two. And another sticky piston goes here, like that. Okay. All right, and then I think we're going to come around this side because I want the collection to be over here. And I think this is how we make that happen. So then over here, it feels really, really weird. I don't have any game sounds. <laughs> we put two redstone torches there. We put a redstone or a block there and there. And then here is where our two those guys go this needs to come out and then we put a block here we put a block here okay so it's kind of doing its deal right and then we come around the front side and we go underneath this block here and we're going to put a piston there and a piston there and then we're going to go up and we're going to put a piston Maybe one more. Let's go over. All right. And then we're going to put a piston here. And we're going to put a piston. And I'm going to leave all four of these. Put a piston like that. Okay. So now we've actually got this shifting deal. And now we just have to make like a cutoff switch. Which the cutoff switch is actually really easy. It's going to be back behind here. So we're just going to put a block here. Yeah, maybe if we put the cutoff switch here, I can reach it. Okay. And then we're going to put another block and another block like so. We'll get rid of this one and this one. Actually, nope, like that. Okay. And then sticky piston facing. Nope, I was right the first time. Sticky piston here. And then this block gone and a block under. Okay, and then we put our lever on this guy. This will be handy so we can finish off the farm then. And we pull that block back and the whole farm should stop, which it just did. Okay, good. All right, so now all we have to do is build the collection me mechanism and the storage piece. So let's go up here. I'm going to put a block there, and that's this is where the hopper goes, like so. Um, also, I'm going to put a block here here and here and we're going to have a piston on top of this guy like that okay we'll knock these blocks both out okay that's going to be what breaks the sugar cane and then our observer goes here and then a block goes there okay and then the only other thing we have to do is Make sure that, A, we have enough light level. So I'm going to go right here like this. I'm going to put a temporary block here. Like that. And then we'll go like this and this. And then... Oh, we don't need that. And then we can go up more like so okay now theoretically this should be what i needed to do to fix it so we grow the bamboo and then we break this and we can jump down let's clear out these blocks and this hopper is facing down because eventually we'll have like a chest sitting right there but we actually actually have to get it operational first before we can do any of that stuff so theoretically that right there should be our zero tick farm now if it breaks whenever we turn this thing on i'm not sure what else to do I feel a little worried that it might. I mean, we can obviously try the other direction. If we wanted to. Let's just hope it works. How about that? How about we turn it on? Um, I'm going to put this lever like here. 
Oh, I think it's working. Yeah, yeah. So turning it 90 degrees was the key. So this thing um, is raking in the bamboo. It's working like a dream. I'm going to keep all those pisses down. According to the tutorial, let's try something. Let's see if this actually does it. So according to the tutorial, if the top two pistons are firing, we can break those. And that shouldn't impact the farm at all. So let's turn this guy back on. Still working like a dream. Okay, so the real key there was spinning the farm 90 degrees. Okay. That's just strange. But you can see that it's raking it in right now. I mean, we're almost at a stack already. It's been running for a few minutes. Um, that's ridiculously overpowered. We'll turn it off. So that's the zero tick delay farm built in real time, essentially. So the only downside is... We're going to have collection on this side. So we have a chest kicking around here somewhere that we can steal. How about this guy? We'll take all this stuff out of here. I'm going to take him with us. Okay. Um, so then this guy can go like right here. We'll put this guy like so. Yep. And then this guy's just gonna. So now we can turn this thing on. I need to get game sounds, but I will show you. Look, I'm gonna show you. And I run because I usually have my earphones, uh, my headphones turned up. I mean, I barely have. That's how loud that thing is. And that's it. And I'm also getting some obvious, like, frame rate lag. Like, I could feel it when I'm looking at this farm because pistons are firing back and forth at, like, high rates of speed. Yeah? Okay. But that works like a dream. Let's um let's shut it down because um, I'm not going to run this thing on camera with you guys. But yeah, there's over it. That's, that's insane. And essentially, we can build the exact same farm as a cactus farm. And I bet what we could do, I bet we could build the cactus farm here if we really wanted to. And our collection stuff right there in the middle, our furnaces. And finally realize our dream of having unlimited experience able to repair these tools like in two seconds so there we go so i think we're going to call the episode there um i know that i said originally that um i wasn't a fan of these zero tick farms and i'm i'm really not but what i also don't want to do is have to build some huge monster ridiculous bamboo farm that stretches like across the world um just to get enough bamboo to be able to make these xp farm works XP farms work. So I think what we'll do next time is we will build ourselves um, a couple things. One, a shutoff mechanism. Uh, we're going to have to figure out how to do that. I think we're going to end up moving some things around. I might also try to build the cactus farm. I mean, this cactus farm is awesome, though. I love it very much. So, I mean, obviously it works because we're getting stuff in there after I put all that coal. So, maybe what we'll do next time is we'll figure out how to use a minecart to, like, unload this hopper. Get that thing full and then bring it up there. Still, I cleaned up some of this, but bring it up here and drop it off the fuel right here. So, yeah, maybe we'll do some minecart work next time to move some items around. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about these kind of farms. Um... I don't know. Uh, on one hand, I'm happy to have a farm that produces tons and tons of fuel that we can use for smelting cactus and get lots of experience from it, which is pretty awesome. Um, on the other hand, it feels a little shady. But, you know, it's... Hmm, I don't know. So, I, I think... I think you have to decide personally where your line is. Like, for example, I don't see any issue with breaking a hole through the nether ceiling in the nether. Uh, the bedrock in the nether. So you can go up there and build a massive XP farm. Right? I don't see any issue with that whatsoever. <laughs> um, but part of me says, hey, this feels cheaty. But obviously, breaking a hole in the bedrock in the nether is also cheaty. So, um, I don't know. Anyway, we have ourselves an awesome setup here. We're producing tons and tons of bamboo, all the bamboo that we're ever going to need. And if we do a cactus farm like that, we then can translate that into massive amounts of experience as well. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from my 1.14.4 Vanilla Minecraft Let's Play series, where my voice is getting all scratchy, I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.
This video and hundreds like it was made through the support of my amazing patrons. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave.